Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Anything you can be, I can be greater. Sooner or later, I'm greater than you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can shoot a partridge with a single cartridge. I can get a sparrow with. What it do, E World, crisscross and wires back with another real quick video. And uh, this video is going to be about something I discussed before, but I'm going to discuss it in a little bit more detail. Uh, and before I do that, I want to say that, you know, I would think by now that I have at least demonstrated that I know just a little bit of something that I'm not an idiot that I kind of know what I'm doing so you know at this point in time I would think if I say uh, something that I believe I can do I would think most people would say well he probably can at least I would think so. You know, there's this old saying I used to say. If, if, if I tell you a mosquito can pull a fucking plow, don't ask me how. Hook that mosquito up and say giddy up. Make no mistake about it. I ain't the smartest person in the world. But by no means am I an idiot. So... If I say that something can fit and I've measured and calculated it can fit, then uh, pretty much I would, you know, most people would understand that uh, most likely it will fit. Now, the great part that I've always stressed about this uh, fly e bike platform or this, these Chinese. Uh, e-motorcycles in in general is that this thing has a huge battery compartment on it now for the most part you can kind of see some of it this is the battery compartment obviously it starts there and it ends over here okay that is 18 inches long from that end to that end okay now this this side panel that holds the battery it stops about here but just because it stops there does not mean that's a, you know all the space that's available and even if it was that's still a lot of space 18 inches there up to right here where that panel ends and uh this is 10 inches wide so if you look at it from from that view it's 10 inches wide so we're talking 18 inches long now inside of here when you take the panels off it is open space from here all the way up to right in here this is where the top of the frame is right up here where these panels is right underneath of this tank from down there all the way up to there on the inside is completely open space and that is about 22 inches up to the top so you have 18 inches length 10 inches wide up to about 22 inches worth of space and it is hollow underneath of the tank but that is the top of the frame that's where the controller sits so there's a massive amount of room in there you could fit a small child on the inside of that damn thing if there wasn't no battery in there so uh you know I have found these, uh, somebody else has showed me these big ass uh, Life P uh, cells 
that are huge they are big ginormous cells make no mistake about it they weigh nine pounds 4.08 kilograms each which is nine pounds uh they're pretty big they're like uh, uh about even to the top of the terminals about eight inches tall about six inches wide uh with the wide width and then on the sides it's about two inches wide on the sides like that so while they are big you can fit 23 of them in there 23 of them is the amount that you need to make a 72 volt pack because their voltage is less than the regular cells they're they're not 4.2 they're like 3.7 so you need 23 of them but trust and believe me i measured that entire area inside of there you can fit 23 yeah it may be you may take up most of that room but they will definitely fit now 23 at nine pounds is 207 pounds that's a 207 pound battery which is heavy as shit you damn sure ain't putting that on no fucking e-bike but a 207 pound battery for an e-motorcycle is nothing crazy there are plenty e-motorcycles uh you know factory uh manufactured e-motorcycles that have huge ginormous packs like that that use different cell technology or a different you know chemical you know different chemical base compounds that use big ass cells that are heavy as shit uh so you know 207 pound battery this bike with no batteries on it at all just the bike and an empty frame is 200 pounds so that would be 407 pounds total you know how much a 600 cc sport bike weighs about 450 pounds so that still would make this you know uh the average sport bike weight over 400 something pounds is that heavy yeah but is it too heavy no is it doable yes it is and if you got a big old 12 kilowatt motor on there you ain't gonna have no problem moving that mass with a powerful controller so yeah it's definitely doable but you know i i i, I mentioned that and somebody tell me like i'm crazy like it can't be done man okay all right anyway i don't even know why you worried about it if you ain't building it or you you ain't riding it or even thinking about purchasing one from me why are you even concerned but anyway i'm telling the rest of you guys that have rz's what i just said and that pack with that cell technology uh that cell chemistry i was telling you about uh i think it's like 200 and damn i didn't forgot the exact amp hour but i posted it it's a ridiculous amount of amp hour 200 and something amp hour you know how much t uh range a 200 and some amp hour pack would give you not only is the capacity 200 and some amp hour it uh has a discharge rate of about 350 amps max for 30 seconds 200 amps continuous that will run the average decently powerful controller so you got 200 dc line amps continuous for 30 seconds you got 350 amps worth of burst all right so plenty enough power at that pack size with that amount of amp hour so if you wanted a bike that had about 150 mile range 200 mile range uh riding at any speed you could have it and i can get i could make you a pack i could set that pack up for you for about three thousand dollars now if you don't think that's worth it then that's on you but if we're talking about 
a bike that cost uh, maybe modified to those specs with a good motor on it uh, maybe 4500 five grand you got in the bike with a three thousand dollar battery that so that's eight thousand dollars in total I guarantee you have a lo the longest range electric motorcycle in its class out there and yeah I can do that so once again man you know it <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole and uh, I know some people you know take it like I always uh, act like I know every fucking thing and it ain't that but I do know what the hell I'm talking about I ain't stupid I know how to calculate shit I know how to measure and uh, formulate a goddamn plan so yeah once again, I tell a motherfucker a mosquito can pull a plow, he better not ask me no goddamn how. Hook that motherfucker up and say giddy up. We out. Peace. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm going to add this on there too. Man, because I was talking about it in the last video. Man, oh man. I don't even know why I let stuff like that uh, agitate me a little bit. Uh, but it is frustrating sometimes. But it's not even this like an issue that I gotta worry about, man. Cause you know, regardless of that, you don't have to get that kind of pack. Because uh, like I said, I'm making P45B packs, y'all. I got P45Bs, and them some bitches is hard to get anywhere. You call around, they sold out. But guess who got them? I got them some bitches. So anybody want a seriously seriously high performance high output pack holla at your boy if not go where you've been going get what you've been getting and do what you've been doing not a whole lot we out